and find the best move for black. So straight away, looking at the king, the queen physically can take the pawn and the king would be taken. Does that set anything else up? No, don't look like it. Can take this, physically can take this pawn, the queen can take. So that's the area around the king that I'm looking at. And it doesn't look like those are going to help black in any way. So the next thing for me is the rook can take the rook with a check on the king. The rook takes. That doesn't look too meaty. So is it about gathering up material? This bishop doesn't have any protection, but if the rook does take, the rook will take with a check. It's not really forcing. Yeah, they can capture. They do potentially capture. That would be a mate. Well, not really. The bishop can come and defend, but it's not clear. So we're not taking the bishop. The bishop can't go anywhere. I suppose it can attack this pawn, but it's not forcing, is it? You know, you take and rook just moves out of the way. So what is the movement? This one is a force because it, they have to react to the rook taking. Ah, they have to react to the rook taking because it's a check on the king and then the rook can take the bishop. So then they will have a minor piece up after all that. So we worked it out eventually. So we will go with that and then we'll take the bishop here. Okay. Yep, so how we worked this one through, we focused on the king first, seeing if there's any checkmate type positions or forced checks to make the move with the queen, because the queen was the closest one at this point. But we couldn't see that working. Eventually we we worked out, yeah, taking there, put a check on the king, but it, it just didn't seem to work. And then we saw that there was a piece that was being unprotected. So it was looking at the rhythm of the game in that sense. So that was pretty straightforward. It's always pretty straightforward when you know the answer. But whilst you're trying to find the answer, it's a long, hard slog. But the real question is, when we're practicing the pattern training recognition type things, can you apply it in your games? And we don't try to force anything in our games we just like to have done this one wrong for my own recollection i've done this one wrong so i'm just going to just totally wing it now and hope that they make a mistake we're trying to find our balance again in this game so yes so pattern recognition training does it help your games does it help you find those magical positions? Do you have that time sometimes to actually even find any magical positions? I think on the whole, it's a nice idea to have. It it's, does help with seeing positions and patterns that you can look to take advantage of. Like I said, I, I've got a book which is 180 ways to be a, a grandmaster. And like I, I've been doing that for years. And I'm past the halfway mark and I keep going back to the beginning like I keep saying and going through them again to feel really comfortable with the positions but you know in my games those positions aren't exactly going to be there the concept I, I and idea might be there but you can't go searching for that exact position it's the conceptual idea of pattern recognition but we're trying to scramble some sort of advantage here because the opening wasn't what we would normally do in this game which i'm thankful for in a way because we just like to just see if we can just play chess and not really rely on what we know let's play something different i'm going to bring the bishop back here I'm not going to want to release the air so it's we were thinking of pushing the pawn up at some point on the night, but they're not going to wear that. 
So let's bring the bishop here. And I don't mind doubling the pawns in this scenario. Is there anything different or better that can be done at this moment? We can hit his bishop as well. So double whammy. Does take. So it's now looking to focus on this pawn. If, if we can. <coughs> Excuse me. Move the bishop out of the way. We can look to challenge it a bit. Is there a quicker way? Not a quick and dirty tactics thing, but if we get this positioned here and we get to move the knight, maybe go for a take. Oh, but the bishop is protecting that square, isn't it? I think this is a key thing now. Do we have to get this knight out? It's about making it functional if we come here we're giving them this they're going to go there anyway but we don't want to push them there really if we did push them there we can push this pawn we're attacking the bishop i'm assuming they're going to take does it improve our position feels like it might do got a diagonal onto our king so we have to be mindful of that so let's push and push and see if they're going for the take or not. They are, so it gets the queen off the back, trying to maybe get into here. Might finalize this attack on this pawn. So they're coming for the B pawn, always for the B pawn. Always for the B pawn. It's not always a good thing, though, is it? Um. Let's just go simple here. Don't need to go over again. So now they've taken their king to what looks like perceived safety. So I'm going to just put a check on the king. Also attacking the pawn, but I'm not going to greedy munch the pawn. Now they do have this pawn pushing past, so we can move, but it, they still have the passer. Or we can bring the queen back. That's why they're moving really shiftily fast. Move the king. They keep pushing, get this knight here. Yeah, okay, let's do that. Move the knight, like we said. Knight does have a spot here, sweet spot on attacking the queen. Got plenty of time. Mm -mm. They've got a piece under tap, but we're not going to be taking that pawn. I don't think that's um, warranted at this moment. Our pawn knight is a little bit jammed in. Right, wants to get rid of the knight because he wants to keep pushing this pawn. You know, eager to get this pawn down. I'm going to hit the queen. Looking for spaces towards their king if we can. Knight's protected, and he's going to be constantly protecting this, so we can bring this knight now and support, but I believe the um, bishop's going to take at this point, because they're chomping at the bit to get this pawn down. Oh, blocking the queen for some reason, so the queen probably thinking it's coming around here. Oh, that's a nice spot. That's probably what they're doing, isn't it? But the knight is here. Guarding that square at the minute. Right, so with the bishop blocking there, we can take the pawn, but I'm not really looking at that because the rooks are just going to hit it anyway. Anything else for us to do? What about this rook? Doesn't seem to be doing much. Let's come here. Maybe they'll come this side, but the knight can take. Somehow they're getting the, looking for something here. Maybe this pawn pushes starts opening up. Scary times, scary times. No way is there of them sneaking in. So that's their golden spot for the queen. But currently, unless, ooh. Yeah, so if the pawn hits the knight, and the knight has to move, knight jumps here. Although, with that bishop move, looking at the other side of the coin, it's got like three pieces on there, hasn't it? Got the queen and the bishop attacking this pawn. 
as well as this potential for attacking here. It's a bit slower, but it's still impactive there because what else can stop it? The rook can come up and do something blocking. Maybe we don't need to worry so much about that maneuver now. And let's focus on this. It's got the knight, it's got the bishop, it's got the queen attacking the pawn. We've only got the knight and the queen, so he's got three pieces and we've only got two. I think we're going to have to push the pawn and attack his queen because his queen doesn't have any protection. Ooh, that was a lot of calculating and none of that might even happen. I don't think they've got time to do that. Oh, you see, none of that has gone all the way around here. Isn't that weird? But now we don't have a little outpost. They've got this twice as well now. He's attacking the knight twice. Which means one of the rooks is going to have to come here. Which means then he can come and attack the pawn means this pawn can't push up to defend itself oh but we can take this pawn he's going to take the knight we can't put a check on the king or we can move the knight that, oh but we're blocking that with the pawn <laughs> What do we do? Really like this rook being there, but we come here. It's going to compound some more. There it comes there. Bishop continues taking. Knight takes. Get the bishop off the board with the rook. And leave the knight here. Could sacrifice the rook, you know. Not precious, although we lose this pawn here, but we do. Take the bishop, pawn takes, queen takes with a check on the king, king moves. Take this pawn. I'm going to risk it for a biscuit. I'm going to risk it for a biscuit. I think positionally we should be okay. Yes, we're going to be down a, a rook, but being down the exchange might not be or might not be that bad in this situation. Because they're really looking to get this pawn down. I'm going to take the bishop. I've talked myself into it. Get the check on. Take this pawn. Highly developed pawn. It's not going to last there too long because they'll double and triple up on it yeah started already so that'll just drop here so in the meantime the queen is defending the knight so we could bring our knight attacking their knight also looking to defend the pawn but kind of trying to stop this from coming here but I think the knight will take the queen will take and the rook takes the pawn No, the queen will take the knight. Yeah, okay, so we're not doing that really, are we? Hit the queen, but the queen is just going to sit here and attack the rook. Anything else? What, any magic with this pawn here? Mm-hmm. I think the magic is with this rook. Rook comes here. Let's not move it first. Rook comes here with the potential of going here. That rook's just going to stay there though, isn't it? Right. I'm going to go with that. I'm going to try that first. They continue with this. We can go here. Obviously, they're not going to do that, but it can happen.
So the knight's going to be wanting to get into the action, isn't it, somehow? Can it attack the pawn? Yes, it can. Don't think they'll do that. Queen is probably coming down for a cheap pawn. It, it's come down. I, I, I didn't think they were going to do that. Actually, I thought they were going to. Where is it going then? Has he got a check on us? Check on the queen. That's happening. Oh, he's coming in to block. He's coming down. <clears throat> he's coming down to block the pawn and attack the queen. Oh, scary times. So, if we did go, oh, excuse me, if we did go straight up here anyway, it doesn't have to take, but you'd think that one of them would take the, oops, excuse me. You'd think that one would take, takes, get the queen, takes. Doesn't really give us much, does it? No. But if we went like this, attack the knight, and then through the knight, if we then moved our knight, got time to move it, we're hitting their queen. Or do we just go up and can't do that because the queen will take the rook? Hmm. Got a pawn. No queen sacrifices. I think we're going to lose our tempo somewhere. Knight's just coming down. No matter where it's going, it's going down. It's going to block. Let's go here. But all the while, he was coming here. Coming, attacking the queen. There's some sort of method in his madness. Yeah, it's moved real quick, so we're going to go here, I believe. Yeah. Is he, oh, look, he's got this. He's got that. He's coming for the rook. That's why they moved quick. That is why they moved quick. So we come here, keeping that diagonal. Maybe. And protecting the pawn closer to his king yeah let's keep that diagonal that's why they move quick you always have to be aware when they're moving dead quick because it's like the you can the adrenaline is pumping inside them like oh i'm getting this position he's going for it anyway and we'll take him because we kept that diagonal because of that sole reason so he's taken the pawn so we're up materially But we want to improve our situation now because I think the knight is pretty safe now here. Unless he does some crazy sacrifice. We need to start looking to be a bit menacing. Can we get their queen off the board somehow? Mm, do we come back to doing this? No, nope. let's go here, attacking the rook and the pawn. I'm not really a fan of queens, greedy munching pawns. I've got to try and find a better position. Probably coming down and putting a check on the king. Does that give them the tempo we take and then he pushes? No, he's defending the rook. Is there any of this? No, nope, because his queen is there. Any funky knight moves now? So, no, nope, because we're wanting to keep that pawn blocked. I think we'll take a pawn and start pushing these pawns up to give them something to think about, maybe. Hmm. Yeah. Right, we're on seven minutes. It's ten second increment, so we don't need to panic, panic. Oh, and they're off with that move that we said ages ago, right at the very start. Oh, and they've resigned. Yes. Let's have a look at the game. Let's have a look at the game. Oh my lord. I to say. So they pushed down with the pawn. The queen is still protecting the knight here. We would have walked, talked through all of this. 
So we were, would have been happy probably bringing a knight through and attacking their rook, giving them something to think about. You can always bring it back down again. Yeah, um, there. Yeah, seven. Could even go here, but that would be blocking, so not that one. So I could attack the rook. Rook can extra through those. It can come could put a check on the king and get the queen off the board. Oh my god, that's a tactical arrangement if ever I saw one. It's a check on the king, we win the queen because it's got no protection. So again, that falls into when we saw when the queen was here. And we says, oh, well, if we could get to move the knight, we'd be able to get the queen off the board. So all of these positions, the pawn attacking the knight, that was mentioned right at the early part of the game where the knight was standing here, where we were thinking that could potentially happen. And then we had the thought process of, well, the queen is unprotected at some point. Maybe can we get there? So in a way, in a jumbled up way, those types of positions have helped maintain a solid type of advantage for us in the game yeah so knight coming here would have been a do would have been brilliant back in the rook yeah, it's just supporting the pawn at the minute two minute would just attack but if it did attack then basically we'd be getting a fork wouldn't we would it be a good fork or not though because the queen can take the knight yeah, queen can take the knight, but then the queen can take the queen. Yeah, that would play out. So, human there. Queen takes the... No, they forget themselves and take the knight, but the queen's there, isn't it? So it's not going to do that. And so where would the queen go? I don't think the queen's going anywhere. Maybe it, could, maybe it comes here just to attack our queen as a human, I'm just thinking. We take, takes, then we take. Oh, but we're giving a knight. Well, it's not too bad. I think we could have managed that type of thing. Excellent. Queen taking f4 is going to be better for them. Interesting. What's it saying? B4. Yeah, we were talking about this knight attacking the this pawn attacking the knight in the early doors. Then we're going to be losing the um, losing it there, aren't we? Ooh. Wow. What do you do? You, you can't do anything. I'd have to just take the bishop with the rook. Yeah. Plus four. Hmm. What is it saying? E takes F2. So basically, just saying take this pawn here. That's the best move they've got out of that. <laughs> B takes C5. Knight takes C5. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3. Right, so it wouldn't have ended up too good for us if the, op if the opponent had captured the queen. Interesting. Rook A D eight. So basically, he should have just brought the rook across. We did discuss all of this, but we was just thinking that this is going to come down here anyway. But maybe that's a that's saying Queen D four. Let's say they don't do that and they go with this knight pawn pushing. We could go here, couldn't we? But he's got all these pieces on this pawn. Knight e5, it's saying, attacking the queen. Q4. 
queen d5. Okay, I think I could have worked that. It's just I didn't really want to get this knight away from this pawn. So I think I still would struggle with this manoeuvre, even though it is putting a check on the queen type thing. And the bishop's just holding this here quite nicely. What's it got next? Knight c6. Attacking the queen again. Okay, I'm, I'm, I can work with that. Queen c4. Knight e5, so it's just going backwards and forwards. Okay, I can live with that because it's got the checks on the queen. We are fearful of this, but we're attacking a higher piece. Yeah, I could work with that. Right, nice one. What happened to the rest of the game? Pushed up, check, check, check. You're pretty, you're pretty even. Slight of advantage kicking in with this knight move. So this knight move is a big move. We're keeping the track on because we had the discussion that that was a glorious position. Tunnel vision they were on that position. And they were moving dead quick to get there. You could feel the adrenaline pumping through them like crazy. And like we said, the just tunnel vision to continue that movement. It's like, oh, it's a brilliant move no matter what. And we could take it off the board, which was good. So it was a good spot from us. I think the rest looks pretty... Oh, this was us just going through the exercise and after that. All right, okay. Yeah, so the better spot was... Not that one, but... Putting the check on the king. Because we're getting the queen. That's beautiful. Okay, 